hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so in this video today we will discuss about the how to add item in a menu okay and in the moodle latest version because uh, it is not that much of easy to add any menu item in the moodle latest one in my case that is moodle 4.1.2 uh, it was very easy to add uh, in the previous uh, version like uh, Moodle 3.11, Moodle 3.8. But here uh, in the latest one, it is difficult. But uh, I have found the solution. You can use that and you can easily add a uh, menu item here. So let's begin with that. So to add that, you have to come to this file. Leave classes, navigation, outputs in primary.php. So here, why primary.php? Because we want to add a menu item in a primary, primary menu. Okay. So I am here in the menu data. If you print out this, you will find all the item that is currently coming. Like this will appear. Home, dashboard, my courses. All these will appear. And now, you can see here this primary nav and get custom menu are being merged. So come to this, navigate to this function. You will find this function in the same file primary.php. And here you have to override this config variable. That means you have to assign this one. So if you want to add any item like uh, course manage course then come to this manage course page i will come to that manage course page let me log out and log in with admin so i am here with the admin site administrator course page i want this page okay so this page i want here so i will be pasting here as it is okay so just refresh this page and you see your menu item is added the moment you click on it it will be redirected to the page url you have pass here okay so you see currently i'm on dashboard if you click here it will be redirected to it's okay so this one is the hard coded one if you want your condition here you can also put that okay if you need additional url additional menu item then you have to write in a new line like this okay so let's refresh here i am just copy pasting same again and again and you can add only two three item that will be visible directly on your screen otherwise it will go inside inside more tab okay so let's try to make it dynamic so that uh, you can transform your uh, previous version code directly here Okay, so in my previous version, this was in Moodle 3.11. It was working fine. And here I am using everything that is here. It will be checking for the login. If login is there, then only need to add menu. Then I want to add create course menu here so here i will be using has capability modal course create and so menu so menu is a it is a flag that is coming through this in my case from the pre previous person okay so you can write here your account if you don't want this so menu let me delete this one and i will be removing from this condition okay and also this will not require so this is just a condition only this line is required in your case this is a condition it has capability course create the current login user then add this in a menu okay so i am going to add this one and string one and then url equal to you can use this url you have to use cfg www root 
then concatenate with dot then you see it is course management is coming okay so remove comment out this line and put here like this everything will be double in double quote and let me delete this one as it will not be required here okay, so let me make font more larger now it should be visible clearly to you and i will be using this here this is a string and caught concatenated by pipeline and pipeline will be followed by your url where you want to send and now you can replace this page you see everything has been removed and in my case my courses will be appearing will appear conditional okay so currently i am logging with the admin so it will have the right so let me log log in through a learner so that i can check that condition so come to browse list of user this learner one login as click on continue and now you see your menu that menu item is not coming okay let me log out again and log in with the admin and you see it is working fine here in case of admin now i want to add more item here okay so why should i write again here it is already written here I want to add user list. Okay. So just copy this one. You can add directly here. Make it in a variable. Copy paste the same variable. I will pass this, assign this here. And the same for the url i will assign here remove this one just use like this okay so make it variable like unique variable make it unique so that it will not conflict it is okay but you should follow the practices the best practices So you see, is there any issue? Yeah, let me replace this page and you will find an issue here. You see your previous on get override and you have to concatenate that. In this custom item, a config variable you have to concatenate and after refresh again you will find an issue. You see only first one is coming and URL is also wrong written here. Why? Because whenever you are merging, every menu item should be in a new line. Okay, so you have to make sure you are uh, writing, you are putting enter. That means a new line here. Okay, now refresh on it, and you see your both is coming fine. Okay, main course, manage courses, browse list of user. Okay, let me try adding some more item on the basis of capability so this was not on the capability so these are these are on the conditional on the basis of if the user is logging it will be added and let me again add an item with the capability okay so let me make it view word wrap here so that we'll have everything in a visible mode and copy this variable what this better copy everything from here and uh, assign this text menu item that you want and put the url of that okay just remove this one and you see your menu will be added here okay so manage courses gets added browse list added and you see bulk users added
okay so you can see here manage course price list everything are coming under your menu item you have added if you add more if you want to add let me add one more here okay I want to add the report here so directly I want to add I don't want any condition only condition is if a user is login so just to make a copy of it okay so right here in this we paste this URL to here and now you see it will be added where it go it will go it will go inside more because uh, in the model latest version coming uh, it had introduced more options and you see the language has been removed if you you'll find the language it is it will be directly coming under this profile here uh, parallel to profile grades the language file language switch option will be appearing so hopefully you will get you guys have some idea how you can that so right now I am adding editing anything in the Moodle core file but uh, in the coming video I will also uh, make sure that you will edit in your own custom code okay so I am writing this one in a Moodle core code here the file name and okay you will find you will find the this file URL where you need to add yeah update and the function name inside the video of this okay in under the comment section of this video you will find you can find the details like the which file you need to modify which functions and uh, which uh, config variable need to override thank you thank you for watching have a great day ahead